Oregon has the decision, apparently, according to Graziani's reaction. Well, coach Osborne told me, uh, you know, the tight end coach for the Ducks when he was at Boise State, they were in a four overtime game at Boise. And he's, oh, man. He uh, must have been the uh, Anison Bowl. <laughs> That's a nice. It'd been real nice if we could have had the, the referee turn on his mic so he could explain it yeah. to the, all the 41,000 in the audience we have at home. You see Derek Barnes with a big smile on his face there. That's that's a nice uh, encouragement. So Oregon chooses to be on defense. That means Graziani, who has the hot hand, will get an opportunity to talk it over. Now you know. Coaches all across America have practiced this situation. We've seen it in the practices where you start at the 25, both the offense and defense, so you get a feel for what that's like. Well, the Ducks, it's just down by down. Duck defense on first down have got to hold them to less than four yards, get them in a long yardage situation where they have to throw the ball, and maybe if they, you know, force them for a field goal. Oregon won the toss. And on and the nice thing, the Oregon defense has got a little bit of a breather with that that drive. Well, the first overtime game of the college season. At no extra charge. You, know, you, you get the rest of this for free. Free football, folks. This is great. <laughs> yeah, we give you the score by quarter. We have to add another column now these days, an overtime column. Well, the Ducks really need one of their young guys inside to rise up big here. There's Wheaton out on the left side, clapping his hands. Pittman's been the main man for Fresno State, and they go right back to him, and he gets five yards. That's a good start for Fresno State. Again, the key here, the difference between college overtime and the NFL is that in college, both teams get an opportunity on offense. In the NFL, it's the first to score. score. Right. Roberson limps off the field for Fresno State. The ball game, Damon Hicklin will come near side in the slot. Go back to the run with Pittman. And this time, Peter Sermon stuffs him after a gain of one. That was a big play. Big play. Every play call becomes so important in this overtime. Now, if you're Sweeney, I mean, you want to pick up the first down. You do have the ball in the middle of the field right now, an injured Oregon player. And that's Mark Schmidt. He does not want to come out. He is one of the tough guys. He's going to have to come out right now, though. Just a reminder. Well, Pittman has broken the Fresno State school record for carries in a game with 38. He has one touchdown to his credit tonight. So they bought the ball. 19, third down and four. Of course, there's no time on the clock anymore. And for the first time tonight, Arianas in the shotgun. The fake that under pressure. He's got his man Roberson, and he is short of the first down. Peter Sermon, a great open field tackle. And for this is what you want to do. You want to force a field goal attempt, and it's on the right hash mark. And for a moment there, it looked like Jeremy Asher making his play. You watch this explode. That's a great play. Good for about two yards. Lamont Woods was over there. Pretty good pursuit by that Oregon defense. There'd be nothing wrong with making a miss here and uh, maybe blocking it. A great success blocking picks last year. Armin Torigian. This will be a 35-yard field goal. It's up, and it is... Good, squeezed in the left upright. So the Bulldogs have the advantage momentarily with the field goal. That was close. The Oregon guys didn't think it was good. Let's take a look at this one again. Back action, pressure. The action on the ball was not pretty. It did get inside there. He was uh, he was squeezing it. He wasn't sure until the last minute. He says, yeah, I got I think he, he did that when the arms went up. So now Oregon with the ball at the 25. They need three points to force another overtime. A touchdown would win the ball game. And the Fresno band is playing. 
Which, which they're not the, allowed to do when the ball is snapped, but they stop. Comes pressure on Graziani. He throws deep. He's got Wilcox. This baby's in the refrigerator. One play, touchdown. Oregon wins as they come from behind twice in the fourth quarter and in overtime to win 30 to 27. Oh, man, I hope we don't have 10 more like that. Well, if they turn out like this, bring them on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. One of the few times Wilcox got open from the second period on, and he was wide open. Graziani just fell over on his back with his hands straight up. Well, they're shooting the fireworks off, and I notice all the colors are green and yellow. Graziani was brilliant in that final drive and then that touchdown pass. A historic night at Bulldog Stadium, and it's the Oregon Ducks with a gutty effort. Outplayed much of the second half, but never gave up. And the seniors, Graziani and Wilcox, leading the way to a victory. You know, that's a mark of a very good football team when you win a game that perhaps you shouldn't have. In terms of the physical stuff that happened on the line of scrimmage, the Ducks were outplayed, I would say, about 85% of the game. But when they had to make a play, you watch this young man, Graziani, zeroes into Mr. Touchdown. How about going for the touchdown on the first down? Well, the, th the key thing is you don't want to take get a sack so you, you get out of field goal position. But really, because you're in a four-down territory anyway, you have nothing to lose. It's a good idea to go for the end zone. But, you know, you want to make it to, if he's not open, you throw it away. Well, Wilcox and Graziani, they'll be talking about that one for a long, long time to come. Goodness gracious, what a finish. And you see the... Players at midfield with their traditional post-game prayer. They got a lot to be thankful for tonight. Well, I don't think there's much doubt, uh, maybe a little doubt, but certainly the final balloting is in in this an election year. And Tony Graziani, the senior quarterback from Modesto, not far from Fresno, is our State Farm player of the game. Graziani. 19 of 32, 316 yards and three touchdowns to kick off the 1996 season in an electrifying way. We'll take one final break and be wrap, back to uh, wrap it up from uh, Fresno. Don't you go away.